I had a question about kind of like the client relationship and how much creative freedom you're given in a project. Yeah. And um, like times when maybe you had to abandon an idea you were really in love with because the client didn't see that in mind or just wasn't cooperating. <laughs> Are you thinking about the same example as I am? Yeah, we just had one like two <laughs> weeks ago. That just happened. We, we were asked to pitch um, an idea for a client and we really, we really worked so hard on it, and you know, Ray worked really hard on it, and our team did as well, and we put this beautiful deck together, and instead of going with like a bunch of different ideas, we were like, we're just gonna go with this one, because this is the only one we really wanna do with them. And they didn't go for it. And we were definitely disappointed, and we found it surprising, and then we were like, let's take it to someone else. So that's what we're doing. And I think, yeah, that's, and, and I think also, Exactly. So part of running the business is repurposing your work. That's super important because otherwise you're not going to make money and you're not going to be sustainable just to get to the nitty gritty of it. Every time you create and develop something and you put development time into an idea, A, you have to start thinking on the business side about how much time did I spend on this and how much money did that cost me? Again, it's not just about hard costs. So how much money did this deck cost me, even though there was no hard costs that were exchanged? Once you analyze that and you understand your business, you have a handle on the numbers, you're like, holy moly, I better sell this thing. And you'll find a way to do it. You'll find a way to repurpose it perhaps for a different client, or you'll notice a brand or somebody that you think it might fit for. And always try to think about when you're developing ideas, how can this have the widest range of fit? so that you can sort of customize it and sell it elsewhere. And you know, sometimes when you're in a relationship with a client, you do have to abandon an idea and you have to learn to have humility. At the same time, set your boundaries. It's always a fine balance. Sometimes you fall air on one side too heavily. Sometimes you have too much humility and you get trampled on. Sometimes you have too much of an ego and they never want to work with you again. So it's always about finding that balance with clients and it's very different than doing your own work. But I personally really enjoy it. Uh, because I think it's collaborative and it's a challenge, but it can be it can be frustrating for sure.